Oh, that's right. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Try to be brief and so forth. First of all, ladies and gentlemen of the council, thank you for the wonderful <coughs> job you did tonight. I was rather impressed. Uh, I was brought to my attention by uh, Mr. Rutland in reference to putting a report in each one of your packets. I'll start doing that henceforth from this time. To bring you updated real fast, last month the police department handled 254 calls. We drove 3,061 miles. Persons arrested during the investigations, we have one shoplifter, one drug, one DUI, two traffic, and a theft from a church, which we actually made a risk on. Cases pending in the investigation at this present time are two runaways, which we found those. We had a terroristic threats, which we're going to be able to close that out. We had a theft of a decal and a theft of currency at one of the local bars, which we were able to solve that, and the bar denied prosecution. We had one business burglary and two residential burglaries, which were a high profile. I'm going to try to keep it kind of short because I'm going to conduct an interview later on this evening. Uh, delay on the vehicles for the blue lights, they should be in today, so we're going to get those out. Positive response on all the marking on the vehicles so far. Uh, computer servers being worked on, we're interfacing that, so we should have no problem in reference to that. Uh, basically, I need to talk to you in reference to an executive session about personnel matter, and I'll be brief on that also later on when we can. I entertain any questions the council may have. And Mr. Irvin, I think you had a question for me. Yes, sir. Uh, I, ha I received a report in my packet that I believe is an improper that we should not have received. Yes. I believe it violates uh, the uh, GCIC rules and regulations about dissemination of uh, information. Uh, if you I, I returned my report, <coughs> even I did here, but in the, uh, I would like to see that any reports that are generated from the police department go through you before they are disseminated. Uh, and I don't know if all of them have been returned to you or not, uh, but I know mine has, and I know Mr. Mulkey has. But since it had uh, criminal history information on it, that uh, GCIC violation, that's a GC that could cost us big money and, and our police department. It's actually dissemination of uh, improper information or GCIC yes. court records. And, uh, if that's the report that I'm looking at, you yes, can and uh, I, I, I request that uh, the council or any, if any of the council requested something, that they go through you before it's being disseminated. I should have them come to me. And I, will, and I will go to the department head and ask them for the uh, for the documentation. So if, if council has a specific um, request on a, a document that's not normally asked for, um, please come to me and I will approach the <coughs> department head, whether it be fire, police, or maintenance. I'll make anything available that anything I can discuss unless it's an ongoing investigation. Okay, all that's being directed at me, and so just openly talk to me about it, about all these insinuations and everything. Um, the previous council voted to get a monthly report of tickets issued, uh, so they had an idea of what was being written. And Because we get the complaints when people think they get a ticket they shouldn't get. And uh, we also um, voted to get a copy of the fire reports so that we would know how many fires we had and that sort of thing. So if that's a violation of anything, then we need to make a motion that we change it. Right. Nobody's trying to do anything in underhanded. We used to always get this in our packet uh, before we had three. So, you know, if there's a problem, let's talk about it. Let's don't play well, games The only here. problem I had was the names. Well, I don't care about the names. I'm not, that, I don't give a rip who, who gets the that, ticket. That, that the names in. then became the violation. Well, now, people like okay. so many, so many tickets or whatever. Can we, like can we do the report without the names? Council, pleasure. I'll be more happy to get you a report on the citations and what we have heard in court. And if you like, I'll even go one step further. A possibility of. Let me see what word I'm going to use. I'm going to choke on this. Um, what the court may come up with and what we actually came up with. Well, I'll, I'll turn that before. I'll be more than happy to <coughs> whatever format you want, then I'll supply it to you. The reason we asked for this report to begin with, and if the council don't care and you don't want to know, that's okay. But the reason we did is because we had a huge discrepancy in who was writing tickets and who wasn't writing tickets. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We had the chief of police who wrote two tickets. He didn't write another one. And we had another police officer that was writing more tickets than anybody else. And it was not being managed. And we were constantly getting complaints about it. And we're, we're the ones that are responsible in the end. So, you know, I think it, we should know how many tickets are being written and who's writing. Oh, yeah, we're now. I think. Yes. The only, the only thing I had concerns with was the name which made it a GCIC violation. When I asked to see the report, I said, I just, in Ann Taylor, or Tab Taylor, who I talked to, I remember, I think it was Ann, I said, I'd just like to get a list of the uh, tickets that were written for the month. And she just printed it out. I don't think it was any ill intent whatsoever. No. All right. For now on, when those reports are printed, they, they need to have the names still used. Mm -hmm. So we just see what tickets were printed out, what were, were issued. Mm -hmm. um, well, I can give you a breakdown on the, uh, if you want her officer, um, I'll be more than happy if that's what the council wishes. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm not writing a lot of tickets. I'll tell you guys that right now. I'm not. Uh, my officer's doing a fabulous job. Um, I have one officer that's a go-getter. There's no doubt about it. But we're also at a 27.5 percentile rate of warning citations is what we're at. So we have no problem with that whatsoever. But I'll be more than happy to supply whatever point the council wishes me to supply to them. Um, keep in mind, if you look at what officers write and what citations, you have to take another factors on what they worked, what hours they did, where they did roadblocks, where they're answering these calls too. That's another factor too. And I use that when it goes towards our evaluation of procedure. So I'll be more than happy just direct me what you want, and I'll put it in the form and you can have them. Just, just keep the names off them. Yes, sir. I'll be more than happy to. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now we'll go into the fire department report.